Welcome back to what could possibly be the last Corcovado vlog in its, as we understand it. It's about 10 in the morning, 10.30. Lots of people are going to be arriving today. Just checked in with the neighbours to let them know what's going on so they don't think some rave is happening. <sighs> bit, a bit scared because um, it's very, very cold. But I'm kind of impressed that people still want to come. We'll see if they do arrive or not. Sounds a bit like a George, actually, funnily enough. Jodie's gone to get all the luxuries for the toilets. Got the three port loos What have we got? Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer, towels, LED lights, and toilet paper. Ah, oh, all the works, all the works. This is the upgrade I got from last year. People moaning about only having one composting toilet. So there we go. I'll get it here. Bring it down. Yes, George, tidying up. Jenny's arrived. <laughs> Reuben, Smithers, Jodie, Sam, right? Yeah. yeah. There we go. We're all slowly gathering. Uh, I'm glad to see you're well prepared, Smithers. Good man. Farmer Smithers. Father Farmer Smithers. Mate, look at this. This looks. This is a work of art. So, did you chop this stuff yourself, Ellie? Yes. Yeah. This is. I did all this last winter. Yeah. So it's just down the road. It's travelled all of maybe half a mile. Perfect. <laughs> that's about right. That's ash. Ash, and then the more wiry stuff is the oak. You've is it? Got oak. It's denser. Denser. Yeah. And then you've got silver birch. Yeah. There's some alder over there. Alder. Alder. I've never heard of alder. Yeah, alder. Oh, nice. Um, and a little bit of poplar thrown in for good measure. Nice. So it's, it's got a bouquet. Yeah, it's what was growing in the woods, and it needed thinning to allow the oaks to grow. And it's all part of the management cycle of the woods. Let's get it over there. Right, this could be a terrible idea, but we'll see how we go. It generally is, though. Hit it, Ali. I feel like this could be quite unstable. I think it's definitely very unstable. <laughs> but we're in now, so let's see what happens. Where were you when I needed you most? Big time. Like time. Yeah, it's all doing it together and figuring out the space. Like, I don't have any more money to spend on any of this. All right, they're sorting that out. We're trying to get the tarp on the ground. I said that I need you. Now you tear me. I know you don't mean yes, to you know where to be found. I'm trying to make an ad hoc picture frame for all the bits of fun creativity that we had from the workshop in La Salle. They're so fab, aren't they? All the colours kind of go, go mm. together. People picked, well, they used what was there basically, which has worked really well. Yeah, <laughs> and they're also such different interpretations, which is what I love about it. But who are you? To tell me I'm wrong I know you don't mean to But you're tearing me down But oh please have mercy It feels good to be back It's not a little bit weird because It's not my space in the same way that it was before But that's why we do V2 So that it's a new space, a new adventure together So even now, like going off to pick Amina up leaving the guys there. It's kind of new for me, but it feels good. So do you want to tell the vlog like what you guys are up to? We've just done a scouting, haven't we? Yeah, we just chose our little spot for yoga. Down by the river. Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, I think that was <laughs> <laughs> Are you making a camper? Yeah, so it's an old like school bus, but yeah. like, uh, an English school bus. What's your Instagram if people want to check out your stuff? This is uh, the tiny mama. The tiny mama. No, no maddy daddy. No maddy daddy. Managed to get George's bus in off the road in between the two log cabins, which is good. It's a writer who gives voice to the downtrodden and forgotten. But in reality, I am a nightmare to any author's dream with my words up for sale to the pimp of my selfish greed. I shamefully lift off the spoils from telling tales about poverty and pain, while the heroes in my book struggle to find enough food to get through the day. Whilst we're in Smitherman sessions, these guys have created like a bread sandwich making factory. <laughs> Very good. Takes all sorts of work to make something like this happen. 
And thankfully the rain has just stopped, so it just makes it that bit more palatable, which I'm very, very thankful for. These boys are smashing into table and chairs for us for dinner. Come back later when there's a bit more. Getting on all right? Yeah, mate, you getting there? Yeah. Good, looking good, mate. I am so deeply underprepared for this, it's not even funny. Um, but everyone's just pulling together. Uh, Annie and the team just smashed out a bunch of sandwiches, so that'll keep everyone happy. The rain has lightened off, and I have to say, Andy Smith and absolutely landed it with his session. I've been all over the show, really, yesterday and today, I must admit. Amina's been sorting me out, and um, I've just got nothing left in the tank, frankly. It's nice to land it back at home with friends and family, but I just haven't got much left to give. So, thankfully, everyone's pulling together and just sort of making it happen. I probably won't even manage to vlog very much because I haven't really got the, I haven't got it in me. But I'll try and give you a few bits here and there. <laughs> Look at this spread. You're not making this easy. Look at the Look at the artwork. Look at the Jenny's artwork. Look at the little sign. No, you don't. You guys are smashing it in here. It's amazing. Jenny's taking her rabble off into the into the woods to do some charcoal drawing. <laughs> Andy Lindsay. <laughs> yes. Let me be fine. Cause where are you? Cause I need you now. And no please have mercy. And no please have mercy. So did you make this? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Inflammatory, antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral. Basically makes you a superhuman. <laughs> yeah, Raw crazy. apple cider, vinegar, onion, garlic, <laughs> ginger, turmeric, chili, lemon, agave. Woo! <laughs> Bloody hell. I don't need to have a shower in the morning. I just have one of these. That, seriously, try it. It knocks your socks off. <laughs> it's an absolute oh, explosion. Wow. Is it actually cider? Is it no, no, it's just called that. Your intestines are going to love you. The fire is right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have never tasted a more explosive wow. drink. <laughs> What's the, what are the little yellow? Chamomile. Chamomile. Yeah. I didn't even know you could turn... Is there any geranium? Scrub. It's a scrub, yeah. You can use it on your face, on your body. Do you get to keep it? Yeah. A nice one. Oh, I'm going to make herbal tea. Really? Yeah. Good one. I'm excited. Is there room? I'm not sure. We are making natural herbal body scrub. So everyone's been using sugar and herbs and essential oils to make their own individual body scrub. I've got uh, orange, lemon and yarrow. Wow. I've got rose and geranium. Nice. And where can people find you online? Mila's Apothecary on Instagram, website coming soon. Yeah, the glazing has begun. Is this your actual pot, Amina? Yes. I didn't know if you just grabbing other people's pots and just glazing them. <laughs> if there's a hole in it, you just grab another little bit of clay. That's pretty fine. How was that session there? It looked it wicked. It was amazing. Yeah? It was really like, and they were all so like thankful. It oh, really? A real like sense of togetherness, which was just, it was beautiful. I got quite, I felt quite emotional. Really? Yeah. Oh. It's the first time I've done it since like Atlas was born. Coming back Reconnecting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back yeah. To the roots and it was very much like they had that huge nature theme for mm. it. So it was lovely. Oh, there's a jumpy. Is there a jumpy? Oh, I can't give away all the top secrets. Cause where are you? Cause I need you now. This is yours, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, you did a really nice Exceptional. job. Exceptional. Yeah. Exceptional. He's an Exceptional. Student. All right, Josh. We've bought the manpower. This looks amazing. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Oh, good work, bro. If everyone gets a shoulder. We've got the house band rolling. I hope not. Twins. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's dinner time. Josh's table's in action. Got the cutlery. Got the yellow lady Annie in the zone. And this song was just like, kind of based on observations really. Just kind of how I've interpreted it. Might feel for some people trying to get out 
of their situation. We must take a trip Look at this, this is the V2 camp as it emerged throughout the day. Still got tons of wood, which is good. And look at that, it looks like we actually intended that to happen. That looks amazing. We've got the art gallery, we've got the speaker's teepee, we've got the food and drink section, we've got the dinner table. This whole picture here, this is basically the venue from yesterday. And if Ben didn't rock up in the morning, who I'd never met before, with this randomly in his boot, we would have been shafted and if Ali hadn't dropped these round I haven't even paid him for them yet um, he just sawed them up especially um, yeah saved our bacon man thanks so much when are you thinking of doing it now we're gonna have to pack the fire down soon right. yeah. is the end of the Corcovado sign the beginning the end of something and the beginning of something else all right this sign is done too <sighs> All right, that is it, guys. Um, mad, mad day. Like, mad end to the week, mad end to the month, mad end to the year and the two years. Back in V1, and it all looks very normal, like it was before we even arrived. A nice place to end this vlog. It might be the end of the vlogs for a little while. Um, I don't, well, it is the end of the vlogs for a little while, and I don't know if they'll come back. It depends on what we decide to do next year. Just quickly to say thank you to all of you who have been a part for the last two years in whatever way, whether you've come down, whether you've sent stuff in, whether you've commented, whether you've had my back in the comments with people trolling the shit out of me, whatever it is that you've done, I appreciate you. And uh, this project has been made together and we could see that yesterday in the flesh, in the woods. But all through the two years, it's been the same as well. So be in contact, be in touch and get in touch with other people that have been involved in the project as well. Um, that's the lasting stuff at the end of projects. I'll see you soon in some way or some form. Take care of yourselves and look after each other. Cause I may falter most of the time. You said this would happen, and I proved you right.